G'day mate and welcome back to Capture Street with me, Judy. In our last episode we went and ran did a few things. We maxed out all the farms, well at least the fertilizer on, bar on all the farms because we had too much fertilizer. But the good news is um, that seems to be under control now. Seems to be, seems to be. Uh, at the same time, we also finally hooked up recyclables or recycler... Recycling? Recycling generation. Let's go with the recycling generation to the settlements. So we're actually getting recyclables out of the town. And we also put in a little bit of gold smelting. Just a little bit of gold smelting in the start to our gold smelting. You know, obviously, uh, Scrooge McJD needs a lot more gold in the future. But we've got its process started. Today's episode, today's episode, I need to play with what little population we have left. Um, because we sort of have a bit of a population cap we're working around. So uh, today, I want to improve their life with a little bit, um, well, with, with what little population we have. Anyway, before we get into any of that, I need to ask the most important question of all, and that is, of course, can I borrow a like? Can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like early in the video. Didn't enjoy the video, didn't like the video, weren't happy with the video, by all means, you can probably have your like back. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into um today's planning and today's chaos. As always, at the start of every episode, I like to thank those that go above me on. Those that choose to support the channel. And today, we need to name a brand new Diggy Boy. Well, an upgraded Diggy Boy. After he makes his way all the way around the island, he's chosen to take the scenic route. But, uh, Jockey, I understand. I understand wanting to take the scenic route. Or wanting to, uh, have the waves splash on your tracks one last time. Before you finally make it all the way over to the vehicle depot and get upgraded into a mega Diggy Boy. We will probably see you over there because we have a few things we need to do in that general direction. Uh, first thing I need to do is uh, we need to get a trading dock up and running. So now we have a we have gold. Uh, we're going to be trading our gold for microchips, but um that means I need to put this building back for the 18th time. We'll probably end up removing it later in the future, but um I need to have it up and running right now. Really? Well, you can go away. Okay, if I can hit you. Cool. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to swing past you. Uh, our sand and quartz. I would really like them, rather than dumping their dirt and their rock here, to start dumping their dirt and rock, well, right here. Uh, we're going to, in the future, be mining all this out. So I might as well start filling it in, which means uh, we're going to say off and off. Uh, you guys are already allowed to dump dirt and rock in this local area. And if you can't put things in these boxes, well, you have no choice but to dump them right here, which suits me. Um, it does mean we'll have that annoying warning message, but hopefully the fact that this has uh, these little, no, Jenny, you screwed it up. It means that hopefully I'll remember in the future that um, I have that issue. I have told the, uh, the game to give me a notification if you can't dump these things. So we should be good. Actually, we might turn on gravel just in case we end up digging up some gravel. Yeah, we shouldn't dig up gravel. I don't think I've dumped any gravel, but you never know. You never know. Anyway, um, we're going to set up that as well. Next thing I need to do is we have a population problem, i.e. three available workers, which is problematic if you want to expand anything. So I need to find available workforce. Uh, the first thing I was going to grab was going to be Mr. Shippy Shippy, but you're picking up uranium. So uh, that's probably not an option. So I need to go around and find things we can pause that we don't need. So... First off, uh, starting over here, we need 15 medical. I make 24 and 24 medical, which means I can pause you. Also means because I've paused one of you, I can pause one of you. I can also pause one of you. I can also pause two of you. So up to 44 workers. Uh, we can also swing around and pause uh, groundwater pumps, uh, a bunch of groundwater pumps. We're not using the groundwater. So where are we? Where are we? Uh, I can pause that groundwater pump. I can pause that groundwater pump. I can pause... I thought we had some over here. Obviously, we don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can pause one of these guys as well. And I think I can pause one of them that feeds into the town. And also, I can pause one for power. Um, power only needs 48 water because, well, we use 24 here and 24 here. So in theory, it should be fine. We have the tank there. The tank has an alert on it. It should be hopefully okay. Um, Jockey, have you made it here yet? Oh, you obviously have, because we've moved on to the next upgrade. We've got a couple of upgrades to go. Uh, and then on top of that, salt. I can pause two salt makers. Uh, so I have 66 workers. That is all the workers I have available. 
to try and um, improve the quality of life of everybody's uh, situation. Because what I'd like to do is finish the last research. Finish the last research. That, that's what I'd like to do. Uh, I want to finish the last research because now we're out of things to research. Now we're out of things to research. It means I can pause uh, all of that which should free up an awful lot of workers. Cool. All right, with an awful lot of workers freed up, uh, it means I now have a lot more flexibility to get into today's plan. Today's plan is going to be going back into food production, and I want to set up a bakery. I want to set up a bakery uh, to turn our flour into bread, which means I also want a mill. Uh, the mill is going to turn the wheat into flour. Also, some animal feed. Animal feed, if I dump onto this belt, well, it goes through the sorting system, and hopefully... Oh, gosh... Uh, hopefully we have too much animal feed and it is now working perfectly to be turned into, well, power and water and, well, water mainly. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to set up wheat processing. Now, wheat processing is going to need a couple of things. Uh, one, it's going to need somewhere for me to dump the bread into, well, a... One of them. One of them. Uh, and I think... Oh, gosh. You might have to go all the way over there. And we might have to get the bread over there somehow. We need to work that problem out. All right, let's start with this. This 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 should be the easy part. Okay, we're going to have uh, we're going to have animal feed come out. It's going to go to the right. We're going to have wheat, uh, wheat flour, flour come out to there, and then also uh, let's go left. Let's go left. Left. Yes, we're going to go left. No, we can't. Can we go left? We can go left. Flour you need for a couple of things. Um, we need flour, obviously, to make bread. But on top of that, if I had flour, it means I could start making sausages, which means I need to get flour, well, into this line. Now, normally, when you make flour, it's a one-to-one -one ratio to making bread. But I already think think i don't know for sure that where are we um if i bring them bread 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 if i bring them bread one machine makes 24 bread which i think is going to be more than what the population will eat per month and i'm never going to be happy just putting down one of these machines i'm probably going to put down two of these machines so i want to make sure i can tile my my, my flour out of the build and on to other things that require flour. One is going to be sausages. In the future, there'll also be cake as well. So I want to set up something that's tileable, and because it's tileable, it means we should be able to take it to uh, other builds in the future. Uh, can that? That won't work. So you need to be in that tile. Okay, then if to find out if this works, we need to take a duplicate, put it beside it. Uh, that's red. I'm not sure why that's red. That's red because that belt can't make that incline. Um, my issue is getting water in there. Uh, okay, we might have to go even further out. Okay, can I bring you to there? Can I bring you under there? No, but can I bring you under there i can bring you under there so let's go there high supply fertilizer too well i thought i'd fix that problem obviously not uh you to there you to there you to there and then belts please you to there and into there and into there please yep and then water if we run a water pipe at height two over the top you should be able to just slide your way in there. Yes. Okay, so we, now we have something that's tileable. So if I cut off that and I cut off that, we should be able to copy that and just slam a build. Well, and I had all the, 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 the flat belts lined up properly. We should be able to tile that together. Okay, so that's going to be our plan. Something along those lines. All right, we're going to put you roughly about here. And then I need to do a few changes to the feeding belt. So first off, I'm going to have to plug in my animal feed, which is on height one, and this is much higher. So let's bring this belt, uh, not the houses, just the belt. Uh, remove that. And actually, we will, might remove you back to the corner. Okay, so we're going to bring this up. 
this. Uh, at height one through to there. Can I remove that, please? And into there. Okay. Then I should be able to bring this slightly slower belt, please. Slightly. Come on. Uh, do I want to move you closer? That's a good question. And I also need to bring this down to ground level. So we're going to have to bring this to ground level to make sure I can bring my wheat off the main line and into here. On top of that, I need to put in a U-shaped balancer. So if we have overflow, I eat far too much, uh, we can feed that back in. Uh, I can't put that there. Um, okay, we'll do that. Uh, if we have too much, I can feed that back into the main line to be turned into animal feed. So you can go there. We can remove that. We can put you to, come on, you to there. And then we can grab this and plug this in there to height one and into there. That should work. All right. Can we build at least that? Because at the moment, the food line is completely backed up and probably not particularly happy with me. All right. Let's go and find a couple of farms. Uh, we'll start with you. Uh, we're going to put in not that one. We're going to put in wheat and wheat. Uh, yes, because wheat is a fairly long cycle time um, and I don't need more saplings. So let's go with things that take a long time to plant. Also, these have been hooked into fertilizer two uh, and also upgraded to greenhouse mark one. And now we have 200 workers. I think we're going to upgrade these to greenhouse mark twos. And we're also going to put in wheat here and wait here because we can. All right, what truck can't reach what destination? Uh, no, that would be a no. That would be a no, you can't go there. You also can't go there. We good yet now? No, great. Cool, no idea where that went. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have to filter wheat into these guys. These guys are then going to make our animal feed and our flower. And our animal feed obviously is going to have to go back onto that belt. And our water, we are going to have to grab off this water pipe and bring this through to here, up one tile, and then into there. So that should be our water supply. And then if we build you and you, we should also have bread be able to come out. Uh, can I get bread to come that way and bread to come that way? Uh, also, we're going to have to have flour that we're going to need to take places as well. All right. And you, we're going to priority out, out. And then once these two are full of wheat, anything excess can be dumped out that way. I'd really like to have some sort of buffer bucket here. Um, we might invest in that in the future. We'll see how this runs to start with. All right. With that done, I need to get this belt around past the chicken sheds. Actually, I need to get this belt and that belt. Um around past the chicken sheds and off to places and things. Also need to make sure we don't block truck access. That's where things are gonna get a little bit dicey. Uh, can we, no, come on, come on, come on. There to there, to there. No, probably at ground level. Then at height one, and then the chicken farms, the chicken farms, the chicken farms. We're just gonna leave that belt right there. Uh, we're gonna take this belt, which is gonna be flower. Uh, ground level, please. Uh, if I was to put, if I was to add more to the list, more to the list would take me to here, uh, which is that tile. Okay, once we get to that tile, we can go one tile above to here. Uh, stop you there because you raised too quickly. Uh, I need the top one to... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, no, I like that idea. You can go above the pipe. That's a way better idea. Uh... Okay, so this is now flour. It's no longer bread. Uh, flour, we're going to take past the end of that flower we're going to take to here 
So then we're going to take it up one. Pass the end of that. And I'm going to bring flower in... I don't know whether we can make that drop. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can't make that drop. Uh, I'm pretty sure past year they screwed us once again. Uh, how do we get out of there? That's height one. Well, technically that works. I guess technically that works. We can, we, we can win on a technicality. Uh, okay, so that brings our flower back to here. All right. Uh, can I get that one? No. That built. Please. All right. So that's our flower done. Uh, then we need to actually work out how we're going to get the bread there. So the bread needs to come up. And I'm thinking just straight on top of the flower belt. Up over the top. And then there's a water pipe there. So we can't go that way anymore. Uh, we could... I realize what past Judy was thinking. Okay, he's either geni and a genius or insane. It's one or the other. Um, still undecided which one it might be. All right. Can we... He didn't leave me notes. That's the issue. Uh, we're going to remove that. Um, yeah, please, in the comments se section below, please tell me your answer. Do you think uh, past Judy is in a genius or insane? I'm never, ever, ever sure of these things. Uh, we can come down to the correct height. Thank you. Can I remove that we just built? And then... Plugs in beautifully. Beautifully. Like I said, genius. Genius. Uh, high supply of rock. Why? It's just working really well, I guess. Okay. Okay. That nobody else wants to help you out. I can't really help that part. Uh, oh, because they're digging out the corner of a mountain. Yeah, and they made a bit of a landslide. It's fine. You'll get to it. Uh, corn after harvest. Yeah, we're working on it. We've already got a 450 belt. The problem is... Um, actually, what is the problem? What is the problem? I'm actually not sure. I guess we're sort of at the stage where these other belts need an upgrade as well. Maybe. Maybe that'll help. Alright. Uh, okay, so that's flower hooked in this here. Flower needs to be trimmed again. Uh, sorry, no wheat's made it here yet. Okay, from there, right the way across the front, into here, and then into there. Done. Nice and simple. Great. Build that. Okay, you are going to be bred. We're going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. Okay, with that now removed, we're going to come at height two all the way around. And then I can plug into that belt. Once we get into that belt, we can get to here. Once we get to here, we can come out to here. And then through here. And then uh, let's set you up for bread and bread. Which is, I have no idea what type of uh, bucket. I'm pretty sure it's a unit storage. Uh, bread, bread, bread. It is unit storage. Okay. Uh, and then obviously you're going to plug in. Oh, in there like that. All right. So that's going to be our bread storage. Uh, just a little bit of bread storage. We're, we're, we're a big fan of having small buckets. Uh, and that should be everything plugged in. And it's still a 200 belt problem. Wow. Okay, maxing out the fertilizer on all the farms definitely improves things. Um, a lot, an awful lot. Also, we have a problem with too much animal feed. Uh, that's all right, we just need to find a way to consume this water faster or burn off animal feed faster. Uh, both are a viable option. 
no, 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 remove that belt, please. Good. And we're just going to add a second burner. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, done, 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 done. Yeah, we just need to find our wheat, which is not on that piece of belt. Not on that piece of belt. Not on that piece of belt. Uh, there's 18 on that piece of belt. 19, 20. Okay. So we are finally getting some wheat coming along. It's going to be a little bit slow, but it will get here eventually. All right. The other thing I want to look at doing is we already have storage set up for vegetables. Never mind, we don't have any vegetables. Yeah, 400. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to plant, plant fruit then because fruit is even worse at... Um, fruit's even worse at feeding people. Uh, we could plant in veggies and fruit in one of these farms. That's tempting. I can't use that farm. We can't use these farms because they don't have flat, be flat belts. Um, These guys are already doing veggies. Uh, actually, and they're now fertilized. They're now fertilized. They weren't fertilized previously, but they are fertilized now. So maybe that's enough to push things over the edge and bring things back into squareness. Uh, hopefully. We just need to wait for some uh, wheat to finally get here to see if this actually works. Whilst we wait for that, can we go into quick trade offers? So... I could trade gold for microchips, and we're going to need microchips in the not-too-distant future to start getting into research, 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 microchip production. Okay, microchip production, um, no, that's not really right. Um, we need to unlock this tech. To unlock this tech, we need to make Electronics 3. Electronics 3... Down here, require microchips. Now, if I buy in some microchips, I can get this unlocked. Once this is unlocked, I can then do this tier of the research. Once we do this tier of the research, we can make data centers. Data centers are very, very handy at um, providing teraflops. Teraflops are gonna be a new resource we're gonna be adding that, uh, well, you need to have a certain amount of teraflops available to run microchip machines and also silicon crystallizers to make silicon, to make microchips, to blah, 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 blah. It's a roundabout loop. So I would like to, um, yes, I would like to go in here and I'd like to do this trade and then do this trade. Now, it's a very expensive trade, but then again, I now have uh, gold pin, please. I now have gold coming in. Uh, and we don't have a vast amount of gold, but we have a little bit of gold. Uh, in fact, it really comes down to, well, we can only produce 18 per minute. Like, it's not going to be a terribly fast way to build up our gold supplies, but we need to wait quite a considerable time for the price of for the price of this trade to come back down. Any microchips I can get in the meantime is just a bonus. Now, what I'm going to be doing is... I think we're just going to set it up down here. Uh, we're going to be setting up a... You. Uh, can I make you make... Hello? Oh, and he's going to have a robotic symbol. Oh. 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 Alright, uh, we're going to need to make... Microchips. With Electronics 3. Uh, with Electronics 2 and... and, and oh, sorry. We're going to need to make Electronics 3. Which requires us to have Electronics 2, which we have. Also, it's going to require us to have microchips. So we're going to have a bucket uh, that's going to bring down what we have currently in the way of microchips, which are automatically in the trading dock right now, and whack them in this machine to make Electronics 3. Now, Electronics 3... Uh, actually, Mr. Shippy Shippy, low cargo. Do you... You've only got uranium ore on you now. Okay, so they must be in the two shipyards. You have 104 and you have 257. So I already have a good 300 odd uh, Electronics 3, which is good because we're going to end up using them for things in the not too distant future. But we're finally going to jump up to well, the technical, technological age. Uh, we're going to set you to be Electronics 
three, but I'm going to say off. I do not want any other electronics I have brought into this machine. Now, this is going to require us to have some teraflops. Now, teraflops, we have two ways of getting. One is via the data centers. The catch is I can't make data centers. Not, not, not yet. I don't have the ability to make data centers. I also don't have the ability to make servers, which go into data centers because it's locked behind this tech because I need to make 20 electronics three first. What I do have access to, uh, which is one of those new things with update number one, is a mainframe computer. So a mainframe computer, if we just pop one of these down, provides us with eight teraflops. I need four to get this running, okay? So this is a alternative. The cache is it uses two megawatts worth of power. Our whole island's at 33, 35, 30 something megawatts worth of power. Also requires a crap ton of resources. Um, and doesn't really do anything. Like, it, it, it provides a couple of teraflops. It doesn't require water cooling, which is one of the things the data centers do. So it's an intermediate step. Uh, a lot of people complain about the, the technological jump to get into microchip production because, um, well, we would need to, bare minimum, bare minimum, uh, bare minimum, you need to run a silicon crystallizer. So you need to have four teraflops available to do that. Uh, and then on top of that, you would need to run a couple of microchip machines. You could do it with one, but realistically like three was the bare minimum. So you need three times three being 12. Uh, plus then you need another four for this one. So we're up to what, 16. And then you need another four for this one being 20. You need 20 teraflops to get things up and running. Until you had that, um, you couldn't get maintenance three up and running because this is gonna require well, now it requires maintenance two. It used to require maintenance three. And you would have to use Uni to repair the buildings because that was the only alternative. It was sort of a, like, a, a, like a, well, well, you need uh, the chicken to make the egg and you need the egg to make the chicken. One of those scenarios. I didn't mind it, uh, but the devs have obviously listened to community feedback and have changed things up. So I think we're just going to dump our mainframe down here. Mm, we're probably going to need two of them. We're probably going to need four of them. We have a high supply of slag. That's worrying. That's really worrying. Sort of means it's working well. But, um, it's sort of worrying. Uh, at a high supply of rock. Oh. What the? Oh. Well. Hang on, do we just not have fill area marked? Like that's marked, but that's on the other side of the map. Are you assigned towers? You are assigned towers. You're assigned to this tower and this tower, which is assigned to that spot and that spot. Okay, so that explains why you're full. You, you finished terracing uh, and, and, and putting in our little hexagon, so now we can continue that way. Okay, that's fine. I understand. All right. Uh, tree saplings, we don't care about. That, we don't care about. High supply of fertilizer, nothing I can do. And high supply of slag. Well, the ship's going as fast as it can. All right, so we now have a couple of teraflops available, which is going to cost us, well, two megawatts worth of power. Uh, we're going to throw on one of these, which is going to be another 250 kilowatts worth of power. And we're going to start making our, well, converting our microchips into electronic street. At the same time, I need to keep an eye on this and wait for the price to come down so I can click that button and click that button. Yeah. And then get them processed, which means hopefully in the next episode, we can start looking at changing that up. Also means that now we have flour. And with our flour, which is going to be belted over here, we can now turn this on, turn this on. Um... I need you to exist, but I need you to exist in not that location. You can exist in this location. Okay, we're gonna have priority out there. We're gonna build that. Uh, we're gonna remove that and that. Uh, is anybody bothering to empty this bucket? Hmm. Um, except the side only. Yeah, I think that's the main issue. Uh, it seems the priority system is still a little bit whack, and a empty priority is a higher priority than a fill priority. Like, an empty 15 is a higher priority than a fill 1. Um, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. But uh, it just seems to be how the code is currently. All right. 
I need to make sausages as well. Okay, that goes there. If I put you there, it, it's it's a mute point. They both go in sort of the same location. Ah, uh, sausages, 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 more sausages, and we can have just a small amount of sausages in storage. Just the tiniest amount. You know, I wouldn't want to overdo things at all, but we now have, uh, pop, pop, pop. We now most importantly have uh, bread, occasionally, when these machines decide to run, uh, which can go to bread, bread, uh, bread. We now have bread. Uh, we also now have sausages and we have eggs uh so now we have everything for bacon eggs on toast yep yeah we also have microchips so um you can have bacon egg toast sprecky whilst you sit down in front of the pc and um play a bit of captain ministry which to me seems like a good episode yeah yeah uh all right with you guys still burning stuff off there's nothing i can do to that about that you guys are running we need to have wheat running okay speed that up a lot yeah we might need to possibly maybe uh look at taking our excess animal feed and cranking out some more water with it or doing something with it um because this is i feel bad about just burning it for the sake of burning it i feel really bad about it like just a little bit guilty um you do 108 for 36 pollution. You're doing 36 for 12. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, and we still have crops we can't store. The fertilizer worked too well. Uh, and also means actually I can build you as well now. So, uh, we can... Um... Yeah, I sort of want to put a balancer in here um, for these guys. Can I fit one? No, not really. Uh, maybe? No, not really. Um, that salt belt's coming in the way. Or the chicken farm, both of them. It's okay, I guess. As long as we don't run out of meat, which doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon, we can live with this. Uh, ideally, and past JD should have done this. I have no idea why he didn't. Should have put in a balancer so we could prioritize meat going into both of these first. And then only once these are full and backed up, would we take excess meat and turn it into um, giblets to then turn to sausages. Because honestly, turning your food into sausages, sausages, really, really, really bad, bad recipe. Uh, does not fit a lot of people. Okay, so you are maxed out, which... Can I have a not alert? I don't want to alert for that one. Uh, okay, you guys are maxed out. You've done a little bit of filling here, not a lot. Uh, you are aimed for quartz, you're aimed for rock. We've sort of done the best we can here. You guys are running fine. We're still at this stage of being extremely busy. Uh, and there's none of the free mini trucks. Uh, okay. And does that mean my deliveries down here are getting done? They are getting done. They are getting done. And we can now do that research. Okay. Do I still have 130 workers? It looks like I do. So we should, before the episode's out. No. What can we live without? One of them. Okay. Or I need to find how many workers? 15. 15. Um, what do we not need running? Ha ha! Pickle parts. Uh... Well, you've been sitting there the whole time doing nothing because that belt was never built. Cool. Uh, 39 workers. Yeah, uh, we're making vehicle parts far faster than we're trading them for crude oil. So we can pause that. So now we can run you. So now we can get you to slide over the edge just. And I need to keep an eye on that and keep doing that. Yep. Uh, and actually, we're going to want to have micro microchips, microchips, microchips. We want that pinned on the menu as well. I need to keep an eye on that one as well. All right. Uh, I think I think that's pretty good episode done. Uh, we've managed to get wheat up and running with wheat 
uh, came bread, also came sausages, so now we have our bacon eggs for breakfast. We also have made sure that, well, we've got plenty of flour left over for cake in the future. We haven't started planting fruit yet, purely because, well, I just don't have enough vegetables and the logistics would be a bit of a pain in the butt. We can worry about that in the future with more farms after I do something about population. Population is my biggest killer at the moment because I can't add any more. Um, we're really, really stuck at, we need to be under 3,000. Also, please don't do that, guys. No, no, no. Uh, all right. Can I get that filled out? And let's preemptively cancel that. So nobody gets a wise idea. Uh, yeah. Uh, we need to finish off this area or oh, once this is finished uh, I'm a lot more confident about um, um, making progression making progression with our population problems oh my god there is so much oh that's where all the trucks are uh, can we do that yeah we'll just wait a minute for the trucks to keep catch up but uh, yeah gold smelting is going fine we've got a couple of mega diggies over here now which oh it's going really fine we need to double this already. All right, future JD problems. Uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. Next episode, we can get into, uh, well, pausing research again, probably removing research uh, next time, and doing a whole lot of um, major logistics, major logistics and major rearranging, but that is going to be saved for the very next episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.